Hello, and welcome back to Night City. I'm Lux of Lux and Hemlock, and we're going to be finishing the game, I think, guys. I, I finished Phantom Liberty. I've completed all of the quests in the city, so we are, we are ready to go to the end game. And I've had so much fun with Cyberpunk. It's been so fun. It's been a beautiful game, and I am ready for it to be over, though. Um, we've reached kind of max level, we've done all the quests, we've had a lot of fun playing, but I think it's time to finally get our ending, so let's go. Point of no return. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, E Delta. The song I wrote, read it and weep. Read it and weep. Read it while thinking of you. Where you whisper, open your heart. Reveal the place where I once had a heart. What do you think? Oh, Gary loves us. She emptied the place. details. I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. I'm not sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprouted conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a phone needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? No idea. Family. Our family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh, guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm -hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. 
I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Some the guy you spooked? I don't know. Three times now that AV has flown by. Think someone might have told you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that. Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. Do you? I can lead you to Mikoshi. Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Want to leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is going to be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. <laughs> and you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punched. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. You still like you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Arakusama. So so go to Takuni or Modori Tanite. Suguni Sumua. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, what if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. I am not helping you. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arisaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuro said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. No wish to, or no permission. You being a woman. I decide my own fate. As should you. So. I don't like this at all. Sounds like you want to use me. No. I simply offer you an opportunity. Not the first to try. But what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. Let's fly the fuck out of here. B. Do you feel all right? Huh? You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air right now. <coughs> oh, this is bad. Bad place for the relic to malfunction. There's no way we're helping her. What 
stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Buddy listens to me. Johnny, we've been through so much. Come on, buddy. Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll break Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Socket Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find a way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? And what about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen up, V. Those guys are trailer tuggers. An assault on our side <laughs> is just not another convoy to jack. You already tried this with amateurs. Both know how bad it is. And you tried it with bros. Didn't end any fucking better. You don't want those people involved. Their lives on the line. Possibly on your conscience. Yeah, that's true. I want to hope is sin at the afterlife right now and her name is Rogue. Rogue. I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better at NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breach the tower. All cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. Great, you check it out again? <sighs> Give me a break, Johnny. Sensitivity's a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Almost done. Stabilizing the biochip. Oh, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How'd I get here? Drag yourself here. Beat the hell and back. They missed you a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Tell him it was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, thing. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. Okay. Don't expect a miracle. Ah, so slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. longer is this going to go on you tell me looking at you not long at all next attack you won't be able to crawl back here you'll flatline in some back alley this is your last chance to take matters into your own hands understand i know Vic. 
I'll try soon. No, you'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find the last dose of pseudo endo in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizy, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Just not, it's not in this basement. Faith, Christ. You're talking out loud. Oh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. How do we get out of here? Oh, we can't leave unless we take the pills. Can't talk to Misty. Hey V, I heard. Well, your thoughts. Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on, and I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling V's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura is sputtering. Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure. Lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. I like that we started the story with Jackie and we're going to end it with Jackie. I personally think they did a really good job of making Jackie like a significant person in the story. Like you constantly can kind of reference and call back to him. Cut four. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumba's on the other. 
No choice can ever seem right. <clears throat> Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. That's more like air. See that? This is the world. I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. <clears throat> Thanks, Misty. You're right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna well, be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, no then. Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, you should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. Know what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. No, oh, we can call Carrie. Oh, who is this one musician? Uh, who? Carrie? Yeah, Carrie. What? Didn't say anything? Hey. Well, well. Hey, Pete. How's things? Depends what you're asking about. New track. Coming along all right. Not bad. Not bad. Even got a working title. See Mariah and Smoke. Gonna be about our little adventure. Carrie. Yeah? That night. I had a great time. I'm game for round two if you are. No shortage of boats in the marina. Yeah. Might still get the chance. Hey, yeah. Uh, Everything all right? You sound strange. Of course, yeah. Just wanted to hear you. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, think I got a roll? Sure, sure. Kill it out there, care. You too, V. See ya. <sighs> okay. What's good you called? Wish I'd have the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. Mm -hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry eye now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and our tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then... You'll have your own soul on your conscience. Okay, so I personally think that Rogue, would, to succeed, I think that would be the best option. But this is my life. My choices, my friends. Johnny had his chance at Arasaka Tower. This is for me. I'm trying to save me. So I'm gonna ask Pan Am for help. I'm gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. And Pan Am also, like, is totally willing to die for us. I'm gonna try this with Pan Am. Her more than any of your iron for hire chubas. 
have it your own way. Could be my last ride, this. It don't work out. Uh, just want to be there for it. Where? Just me now. P? Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know, but I need your help. And you owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until the morning? I need a way into our socket tower now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? Tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? No. This might not fly over the hollow. Makoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, uh, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. That's about it. The gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Well, okay. Where are you? Fix Clinic. Love you, Pan Am. The river? Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. She is ride or die. I'm I'm jealous of you heteros that get to get to enjoy her. It's a shame that you can't romance her as a girl. Don't think I'll be doing too many more male V runs. So this is it. We're gonna assault Arasaka Tower. Is that you, V? Or... Like Vic said, taking matters into my own hands. So what now? Wait for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Oh, the cat. What do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. He found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. Can you give me a reading? Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child. Curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. Mm -hmm. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. 
Next one should be the Hermit. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. Ah. Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. Balance, friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Is that the truth? Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Mm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistaking that ride ever. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. Thanks. I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, B. Thanks, Misty. <laughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake. To no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on. I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid breaky dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The, the aim is, is to help you out. Not go muddying the waters. Not in the... What the hell? More? Talk to Saul. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Needed some sleep is all. Heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gamut is risky, but if it works, that's our way to the Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile from the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques. We only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Construction site. What do we got for security? Old place spiked? Will it take out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh -huh. I love that the nomads are just like, like, we're completely on board. Like, we're doing this for you. It feels good. It feels good to have friends. V, can you share your thoughts? Plan. Entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. We'll make enemies of our soccer and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. 
Want out? Want to cut your losses? I understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we provided. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. Hey, best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that side. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you want Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask for yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least they think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you need. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Uh, past the Black Wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Koshin? I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, B. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take a break, but we're this is it. Cyberpunk, make waves. Is like pulled all of all of the toys into this room. <laughs> There's so many all over the place. I'm sure you guys are seeing some things in the background that like I'm not even aware of right now. All right, here we go. Let's start, guys. This feels like a really, I mean, like a really big story. I don't know. Um, Just really important. I'm so glad I played this game. It was so good. It was so fun. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with Once Upon a Time. But that's just it. It doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now. You know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't disappoint if you don't have expectations, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go? Like I said, Teddy, it's a George state of Floyd. mind. Or, you know, the air. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Who 
lo and behold, isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. We're gonna have a tank. I'd like to see Rogue come up with something better than that. Hell yeah. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So, nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? Heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plane couldn't jazz up a Panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid fire 70 millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. <laughs> the problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. This is the puppy. This is Myrtle. She's, um, she's adorable, but a lot. You think you know all you need to? If not, fire away. You need to be with me? No, you want to go play. You want to go play. Yes. Yes, you do. Oh, you're going to fall. You're going to fall. You think you know all you need to? If not, fire away. I know. I know. I know you're still teething. You're still teething. Um. Alright, bro. Come on. My mom loves pugs. Um. Let's get back to the matter. Oh, I should check out that gun that Vic gave me. I don't have it anymore. What? Hey, Dakota. Shamai, brother of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear brain eyes. Not at all curious what I'm going in for. You don't ask me? I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. You can go in. Ice filled tub. Take a bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, man. Will Alt still help me?
Classifications no longer apply in the Koshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of streams of unfiltered data. Think about Song So Me. Linked to the Black Wall. Correct. The woman merely touched it, yet you witnessed the consequences. She too strove to cheat death. But a brush with infinity renders the one thing certain. Nothing lasts forever in your reality. What should I expect there? In Makoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life where we feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. Johnny, what happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Is there anything we can know for certain? Yes. The Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated? You mean you're gonna absorb them? Assimilate. No one you jump at this chance. You wanna destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Because she is a prison, through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Now you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your netrunner shard. Once inside the Koshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? Effective virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. 
This is how you will get me into negotiating. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, all. Use the key once you have reached the negotiator. Shall I look for a specific access point? And already tell you, I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard of the negotiator. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. We barely jacked him when our temperature went skyward to almost 100. The test started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. Spookier. You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Load some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. My kind of people. Saul, you want an award? Hop up here. What's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another war. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. Downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're going to be an Alta Caldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Solly, are you all sure about this? This looks like one big chest. Look, I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors too. It's being out the cow though. I don't know if you should. Answer the question. Are you ready? Come on, V. Say your piece. You're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Right there. Thanks for everything, V. And don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way? to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo. <laughs> he welcome to the what clan. Did he say? Easy to gain a Cobra's trust than an Alda Caldo's. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. He broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, Ben, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid this is a raid. Calls for a drink, this is still your night. We'll it's a basketball and to you. glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you alright? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Holding tight. You miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. In Night City, you're alone. Even in a crowd. But here, feels like a part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Okay, so... <laughs> pretty sure... Yeah, we're definitely... 
Uh, <laughs> we're definitely not wearing pants. <laughs> I figured this much, but you know, yeah, we're gonna keep the jacket though. I mean, Aldecal though, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, talk to the nomads. Barbarians do not travel, but simply advance toward their destinations or conduct raids. Fluidity, mobility, elusiveness. These properties. Prepped ahead of tomorrow. No worries. Everything's under control. Good. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that can break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me. We went our separate ways. The Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. You understand what I'm trying to tell you. Now you're using me. The clan will grab spoils from Akoshi while you do Pan Am a favor by helping me out. Not bad, Saul. You don't even believe that. You think I put the clan in peril for my own gain? What for? You're not the kind of guy to willingly surrender power. And if all is lost tomorrow, who will I govern? Dust and ghosts? You're wrong, V. This isn't about power. That jacket wasn't for nothing, V. You'll understand soon enough what it's like to be part of the whole. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. The sensors malfunction at higher altitudes. Well, the gauntlet is hotter than the bomb's glass. No, no. C major, then G. Okay, okay. Hold How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. Hey, you know any samurai songs? A night like this, I'm not thinking about anarchy. It's all about unity, brother. Know this number? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing, just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands though, you know? It's not to fuck with Dakota. That's good advice. Look out for yourself. I need some ammunition. Three or four packs of us. You got any light? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. Seeing as Dakota seems to be feeling generous. Are you, uh, mad at me? I once found a dead magpie on the roof of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. This morning, got cooked alive. I still remember. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Oh, okay. Sorry you even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember, Dad. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... 
The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic. <laughs> Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my. What? <laughs> I stalked you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. V, take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the avocado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Well, well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Oh, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? See, you must know where they stand. Do you? You think it's really that bad between them? The truth is, we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Makoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. to hear with the Pan Am versus Saul debate. Join the club, child. How are things with you guys? Not much to say. All seems set for tomorrow. We still waiting on some intelligence from the drone. Should no more come morning. Apart from that, we're keeping our toes crossed we don't get fucked tomorrow. Pardon my French. I promise you one thing. All the Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan is a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, this crazy-ass plan works. 
It'll be a fresh start for the other Galgos, I see. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says it. Hey now, I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, let's be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? Seldom happens, but they both seem to agree. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. I think you swerved a little bit. Don't you all have somewhere you need to be, huh? No. A second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB chatter from some rat. Militech broadcasts on modular frequency. Forget it, trust me. And if I do like that signal, and we find out who's on the site. Look what the cat dragged down. Revolver. Empty bottles, middle of nowhere. Perfect. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much everywhere. But those stars on Sinai. That's a one time chance. anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch his feet. 
This is gonna be so fun. Guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one uh, why the hell not back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails supplements boosters god knows what else they shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing. Boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, you... Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One will head into tomorrow, too? Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself, that this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch, I'm not gonna be facing a ragtag band of Raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. At least tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. The question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. 
but Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? It'll ease folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some of this baby's insides. Right. That'd be hunting, Mitch. Okay. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn-out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. Glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. Where is Pan Am? Bar seems likely. I have no idea where she is. <laughs> this guy up here. She could be up on that tower, I suppose. No, she's not. I don't know. I don't know where she is. You guys have probably already seen her.
there. She's not here. Where is she? Can't find her. That guy's got a nice spot. Seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard. <laughs> Screw you all. I have no idea where she is, guys. See? Hello? I'm not seeing her at all. She's up high. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I can't find her. ridiculous. I just want to find my friend and talk to her. Where is her tent? <laughs> this is... I, I can't find her. I feel like something's broken. I... Why... Tents. That's kind of mine. Uh, she could be in a truck, I guess.
Dude, I don't think she's here. I I'm not seeing her. I'm like going around in circles looking for her. Join Pan Am when you're ready. Am I crazy? A am I just missing her? What what's going on? Like I I feel like I cannot find her. The gun salesman. She's not here. Okay, I gotta have... <laughs> okay. Okay, I had to look this up. It's apparently near some like solar panel grids. On like a ledge? The only ledge I know is out this way. Oh, there's, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's a solar panel ledge. Oh, there she is. Why wouldn't, why would they hide that? This is where you escape to when you need to think. I never escape. 
Any for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wind last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll leave my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. I'm sorry. V, stop. You set me in your family, and how do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. It wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? Did you want me to massage your bruised conscience? Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. Uh, you're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? I am. All the fucking time. You're great at hiding it. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting. Freezing on a cliff. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. Let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Alright. Break time.
asleep. Try our best not to wake her up. Four to death. Slept a wink before a raid like this. And good intel is just better than a good night's sleep. Take it, Ganner. Thanks. The plan is simple. You have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prices like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Makoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Nightcorp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has shown us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they expected trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow, that'll be a job for Bob and his chamber. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox. If Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you the patrol will be here. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Oh, I keep me scanning things. <laughs> I didn't realize. Good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you need to reach the surf and get it to do your bidding. And to mention Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into the Koshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? Oh, we get back from here. The same way we'll go in. 
but fast, both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So be. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. This is so cool. Hell yeah.
Hell yeah. What is up with this? My, I feel like my entire inventory has changed. Stairs we can link remotely to the surf from there. That's a mistake. Going to Mikoshi. I got it. Terminal, we're jacking in. What about security protocols? V it's not a space station, it's a dumb big ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the circ. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. Got company. A lot of it, too. V, help us out here. Fucking Militech is not letting up. Damn. It's looking like the drill vector's on auto. How can we possibly do it? Brace yourselves. I'm gonna sweet talk this bitch into it. Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. Got it. It's working. Bear for Dinko. Watch out. Run from the right. How are we doing, Mitch? Eleven percent. Shit. Catch his feet up. Okay, here we go.
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Still get their pay. We'll try to buy you as much time as we can. Much obliged. Keep watch over Mitch and Carol and see that gate. Saul? You gotta get out of the way, buddy. <laughs> this is too good. Yeah. Told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm -hmm. Alt. And who is that? There's an air running queen of Night City. It's her. Or rather, was. Why? Does she do something else now? So to speak. Lives elsewhere, too. But she'll help us. Mm-hmm. And you trust her? No. It's not like I've got any other option. 
Just gotta hope Alt isn't hiding anything. Doesn't got other plans. Why? Am I worried? I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this Alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They got it. Come too far for him not to. This would be it. How much farther to our Osaka Tower? Not far. This should be easy sledding from here. Do you see them? I think something's wrong. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We need you. Fellas, well, what's right? the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gaunt brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. Mitch is right. The three of us have still got a decent shot. But without him, they've got none. You're sure about Saul, we're talking goddamn suicide. Look out for yourselves. They'll kill you. I'll catch you later. Thank you, Mitch. <clears throat> Saul, Carol, he's... I'm heading your way. Hang in there. <laughs> You'll all be a figure after this. Nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten in. Once you're mobile, they'll fall. Secure the rear. V, let's go. What's this? Seismic dampers. They're designed to protect buildings from mm -hmm. earthquakes. These are still below the basement. Right. We have to find a way to we'll level higher up.
Gotta get to Mikoshi. This place positively saturated with radiation? Who knows? Great. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. V, take care of the center. Don't like this. Silently, Got one bit. Care. You thinking it's serious? Found it. We'll be here. Found out at least. It always like this around here? Nah, almost never. That's why I don't like it one bit. Good job, Pan Am. All right. Still? No. The lab is in the next sector over. But we need to get there first. Where exactly are we? Plant services level. That's where we'll stay if we don't disable security. Are any access points? Gotta get someone stat. I'm looking. Give me a sec. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personal there. Okay. Better hope the support for all shard too. I'm sending you the shortest route. We need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here. Alright, reach the security room.
okay. I'm here. What's that? Uh, I, I don't know what that is, guys. Friendly? No. It's not hostile. Saul? Mm -hmm. I feel it too. Something's amiss. It's the hush. Does anyone else have the chills? Something happened here. Let's soon find out what. The Koshi is near. All of the robots have killed all of the people. I'm about to do the same thing that I killed those netrunners for wanting to do. Smasher. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. 
Johnny might have gotten killed by you, but not me. Never mind. <laughs> Lie. Too soon. Fuck! I think. Yeah, damn! I hate that I can't. I have to go through this over and over again. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Holy shit. Fuck. Did Pan Am die? Surely Pan Am did not die there. No, she's up. She's up. Oh. Oh my god. Dude. I have like half health. I don't know how many times we're going to have to do this. I mean, this is...
Okay. Okay. You are not to be fucked with. I get it. You're a big deal. Oh. I kind of see why Johnny might have died. Oh, there's more enemies. Cool. Because he was... You fuck you. No. This guy, oh my god, what a boss fight. We have to start all the way over. <sighs> oh my gosh, we do. All right, I'll be right back.
I don't know, guys. <sighs> this is a this is a very hard fight. <laughs> I'm sorry that we have to keep repeating this, but I mean, this is tough. Shit, there's another tarot card. Judgment. Oh, this is judgment. Judgment. Fuck. 
Fuck. This is, this is one of the craziest boss fights I've ever been a part of. This is crazy. This is maybe the hardest boss fight I've fought in a long time. There are Dark Souls bosses that aren't like this. Duh. Come on. Holy shit, did we get him? No, he's at five. He's not done. I'm out of ammo. I ran out of ammo. <sighs> that was so intense. That was so intense. Oh my god, was that a boss fight? <coughs> Adam Smasher, I remember you. Promised to kill Silverhand once. He's a good man. The guy you killed today. He knew he was all in. Saul didn't want to, but he followed me here. Made the ultimate sacrifice. For a friend, for family. Something you'll never understand. I 
it in. Oh my god. <sighs> so it's judgment. so far we have played hundreds of hours of this game I just don't I just don't like do can we save ourselves the bullet let us go then you and I when the evening is spread out against the sky like a patient etherized upon a table let us go through certain half deserted streets the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. This is very ominous.
Hey, Johnny. All packed, you wash out. Got your one-way ticket. This funny to you? You know, discovered one nice thing about becoming Johnny Silverhead. You stopped giving a slim a shit about Johnny Silverhead. Is that right? This mean you've already decided what comes next? Want a word with Alt first? Where's the wench? You haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into her kosher, she lit you up with soul killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey Alt, so seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating the engraved copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean I am I a construct? She means you follow in my footsteps. Next step's to copy you into the god's brain. Wait, hold on! I want to know what the hell happened to me exactly! I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of me. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Dyna incursion and over. But these engram integrity remains high. Meaning you could transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. Don't I have to die for that to happen though? You two still plan to obliterate Makoshi? Hmm. It's gonna burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. Gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Fuck. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body! The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is my Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. I can't, I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even going to take you? Beyond the black wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. What's it like? Beyond the black wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind. At least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just... So we find another way. Finding another way would be making a deal with the sun. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price, anyway. Because of ink. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall. See? That's hope. It could be the flames of hell or heaven's grace. I'd also be an engram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. 
but an animal still crawls inside us, and its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah, that instinct's part of being human, and so is Denali. Is there really no other way? As I said, Jelly can retain the body and remain there while you come with me. Yes, I meant. I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. Here, for folks like us. Wrong city. Wrong people. You have the right to make a choice you have earned through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Oh. If you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. What's that mean for me exactly? Am I gonna become like you? I was a netrunner. I understood how to survive. I cannot speak for you. Beyond the black wall, dangerous lurk. That is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go. I don't know. Six months. What can you do with six months? I can be you and you can die, or I can follow this AI into, into the eternity that waits and not know what will happen to me. Sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big day. Was there ever an option? Was there ever a happy ending? Probably not. It's not that kind of game. It's not that kind of story.
Why do you want to meet here? For the view? Or are you turn to send men on me? So you do remember. I thought of it then as a one-time thing. I would help you, you would help. Fuck. No, no, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. Add it in for the Rathens. You were out to get it with Mitch's and Scorpion's help. If they'd agreed, you'd have told me to fuck off then and there. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day, but we'll be long gone. They'll never find us. I promise you that. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. About to turn on your heel and never see the city again. I think that makes you happy right now. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? It's possibly your last glance at those buildings. The quicker I forget the whole damn thing, the better. The city makes false promises. Any of them grand, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. If you see through them before you lose everything, then you're pretty damn lucky. Perhaps luck's with us now. Perhaps we're leaving just in time. Think it is? I think we are. Time to make up for things. Shit, Vee. We're bleeding again. Just a little blood, Pan Am. That's nothing. Vee. Promise me, as soon as we arrive down south, we'll go to my contacts. We'll fix... whatever needs fixing. I solemnly swear, we make a run for Arizona, set up there, and scour the land for a fix for my head. Simple enough? I'd say so. It's a good plan, B. Hmm. Do you know what Saul once told me? That anyone is truly free just once. When they know they have nothing to lose. Exactly. Next month, that's us. We have nothing to lose, and that's how we live. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon. Gather our gear and set off. Yes, the road could be hard, but as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V, get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Later night, city.
I've heard enough. You're listening to 91.9 Royal Blue Radio, broadcasting live from the heart of Corpo Plaza. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. Uh, souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approach the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Our saga has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Just realized, here I am, clapping from Arasaka again. Don't you worry. We'll pass right under the bastard's noses. We better. New beginnings can be rough. Don't you know it. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. It's high on 7th and Hayward. The pierogies down by the docks. <sighs> Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Really? And I can't wait. Of course our new lives will be nothing but pure fucking chaos. Of that I have no doubt. Doesn't matter. It'll be a good life. I can feel it. And you'll sense it too. Biotechnica. This is where our journey started. Mitch made it. Shit. Did the great outdoors truly serve you so poorly? Huh. Did 
I always count on getting complimented when you're around. Seems the great outdoors and fresh air have done you a lot of good, old man. Get you spry. It's not the air. It's just been one conviction. It lets me fall asleep like a babe come nightfall. I wake up with a clean conscience with the dawn. Got a feeling I'm about to learn. We nomads choose who to make our family. That choice forges strong bonds and a higher duty that stands solid as an old oak. It doesn't matter what happens, what will happen. Within this family, nobody turns their back on you. You understand? I do. Believe I always did. Now you had better ready yourself. We've got a border to cross and a storm to run from. It's a hell of a lot for one day. Who's waiting for me? Carrie! There you are. Wow. Finally. Thought I might not see you at all. Hey. You're here. What did you think? Really glad to see you. So, this is it, huh? Start of your great adventure. Gotta say, it's looking uh, a little apocalyptic. <laughs> Surroundings and everything. Your adventure, huh? I hear that right? Well, I... I... It's going to be our adventure, Care. So you let me think. Fuck. Thought this would be a lot easier. Harry. Hey, I'm not going. I can't. You drift off or what? They always leave. As soon as things get tough, they always leave. Might have expected as much. You mean to say I've become that predictable? No. Just gotten to know you that well is all. Can't throw it all away. Yeah, I guess you know that too. Finally got this city by the throat, and I don't intend to let go. Not now. Not even for me. Concocted yourself a new beginning. You chose it. It's coming fast. And I understand that. I do. But I still got biz to take care of there. V! <laughs> I don't know why. I, I spent the entire game looking for this guy. This... Did you drift off or what? <laughs> like, my character's gonna die in six months? We had this thing and you're gonna let me go and do it without you? Like, come on, man. It's always like this. It's always like this. Every time. And you'll see to it without me? Not a problem, I guess. Hey, unfair. You know why. Maybe a few months, Care. You figure something out after. Unless your fucking tours are longer than that. Shit. Fuck me. Fuck. Fight. I'm scared. Afraid of the future. Afraid to leave the city in a moment like this. If I leave with you now, I'd have to come back alone. Be a good take it. Please, please try to understand. If fuck you, fuck you, loops of life. Like.
you're afraid of being alone? Like, I'm gonna die in six months. What? What are you talking about? Like, fuck you. Who says you'd even have to come back? The fuck was all that chat about life's loops? Well, the thing with loops is we all got our own. And they're singular at base. Ours just intertwined for a bit. For a bit? I know. I thought we'd make it too. I did. But that was just fucking Night City. It's illusions. Whispering sweet nothings in our ears. Looks like we might have believed them. Fuck you. Enough. So, go already. I am. I'm going. And, you know, if you ever pass through Night City, don't be a stranger, alright? Give me a call. Yeah. I promise. So not only am I gonna die, but my fucking boyfriend lives me. Cool. Really good ending. <sighs> Fuck it. That's just that's just what life is. People leave. What? There's, I think there's so much. Need any help preparing? No, it's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Wait, are we talking about one of those famous Albacalo tunnels? Mm-hmm. One of the oldest ones, this one, too. They dug through right after the first war. Albacaldo stopped using it years ago. We got tipped off that Night Corp had found it and started monitoring the area. You scan it? You sure the tunnel's even open? Hasn't caved in anywhere? It's open along its entire course. And all it needs is to stay open for us this last time. Then it can collapse. We won't be needing it anymore. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. What about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol. Heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corporals off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, you call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favorites to call them. So even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Thanks. Well, time to move before that storm finds us. Are we all set? Mm -hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger halls and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't take it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. You know what? To see Carrie Uridai looking lost in the middle of nowhere, that was truly a sight. 
Sophia. That was not how it was supposed to go, was it? Carrie came out to say goodbye. Said he still had unfinished biz in Night City. Fuck. I'm sorry. Thinking about it now. God, it could have gone any other way. But you know what? What? I feel like I just stepped out of a room I've been locked inside of. I don't know what that feeling is. Hope? Fulfillment? Don't try to name it. Just enjoy it. I feel the same way. Besides, you'll come to understand it once we're on the other side. You'll see. Fuck you, Carrie.
housewife out there in the desert, getting some sun, some fresh air in those lungs. Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets under that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I can swing a little discount for an old regular like you? Till next time, B. Is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Antecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? The city was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not going to a second funeral. Don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, B. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Judy! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. <laughs> Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I, I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy. V. Hey. Christ. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. Pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. Craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Thanks, bitch. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V, I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. 
the city needs more people like you. But I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Jefferson. Hey, it's Perales. V, you're gonna wanna hear this. First, we need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. It says they're vitamins. Yeah, fuck you. Got them analyzed in a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? You got a sec, call me, okay? Oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Hey V, listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I, well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, me. Thank you, Missy. Thank you. It's been so long since I've, like, it's been so long since I've, like, finished a game. It seems like all the games that I've finished in the last couple of years have had this sort of bad ending to them. Like, Red Dead Redemption 2, like, you know hard to go through. This is hard to go through. I don't know. Did I just make the wrong choices? Was there a better ending? Thank you. 
that was Cyberpunk 2077. Um, thank you guys for watching this with me. Thank you for sticking through all the end. Um, I had fun. Definitely emotional roller coaster there in the end. Um, but I. I enjoyed it. I'm ready to go on to new games. And um, thank you so much. I'll see you for the next... Whatever the next thing is going to be. Be kind to your chooms. Love as much as you're able. Be yourself.